Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I of course am your host CDB and you are not and today we have a sort of a budget shave for you. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to say this razor name. It can be found on Amazon Young Tees or Taz. I have no idea and I apologize. Um, this company is a subordinate company I believe to Waishi. Um, and this is supposed to be an all brass uh, butterfly opening type razor and comes in a box like this less than 20 bucks I want to say it's like 18 bucks something like that Fair, fairly hefty. It's got kind of a long handle um, We're just going to use the Gillette platinum blade that we used yesterday as to not waste blades, but uh, pretty good fit and finish on this razor, you hold it there and open the doors. The doors open and shut pretty easy, no problem. I have no idea how this shaves. I've never seen one. I just happened to see it on Amazon and said, let's give it a go. So we'll shut it. And there's what it looks like with blade in. Again, a budget razor from this company, who's a, I think I read, subordinate company of uh, Waishi. And so we're gonna give this butterfly opening brass, supposedly, all brass, according to the uh, the ad, at least on Amazon, I try. We're going to use the Vijon or Vijon uh, Tropical Lime Cream that I believe is a product of India, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look and see. Uh, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I think it's out of India or something to that effect. Welcome, uh, everyone, and especially those of you who are, you know, not in America. Obviously, we welcome all our American viewers, but I also gonna want to give a shout out to everybody all over the world. Um, and the reason we're using some of these products is some of the folks outside the US don't have access to some of the products that we do here. So I'm trying to use products that maybe they have access to. And so we'll use them today. I'm using the West Coast Shaving Brush again. It's really, really nice. And uh, let's see how we do today with this inexpensive butterfly opening type razor. Um, we'll just see how it goes. Hope everyone had a nice day. It is Monday, by the way, or hope you have a nice Monday, I should say. Um, and I hope everything's just going well, generally for you. Some people ask him, you know, he used to like everything that was premium and now he's all this budget stuff. Well, that's for a couple of reasons. One, I learned better, <laughs> you know, especially when it comes to software. But two, you know, like I mentioned before, I'm going to try to use some products that maybe folks outside the U.S. have access to because they don't have access to all of our artisan stuff um, all the time. So, we try to use some of these products that I can get my hands on. And so today, it's uh, this <laughs> this company. I have no idea how to say it, but, you know, that's nothing new. And the, uh, the razor feels, you know, pretty mild. But not bad. Not bad. Definitely on the mild side. Just I could tell from those first couple of strokes, it's definitely going to be a one you would rate mild. Uh, similar to, like, your... Butterfly opening, Gillette Super Speed, or something like that is what it feels like to me. Um, but that's just me, based on very little use. And we will uh, use this razor for a while and then, of course, give it away. But, oh, by the way, I bought this. It was not given to me, just, just so you know. I always disclose when something is sent to me versus buying it, just so you know. Because people want to know that information when they're watching, you know, these sort of products. And I always try to give it, provide that information, that is. Anyway, mild shaver, quite smooth, no problem. No problem at all, as a matter of fact. I like this blade also, by the way, this Gillette Platinum. I don't know that I've ever used a ton of them. I've obviously tried them, because I've tried most blades. But, uh, the blade is really smooth in this razor. It's got a nice feel to it. The razor, um, 
feels sturdy and so on and so forth. So no problems from the standpoint of that first path at all. The cream did just fine, as did the razor. No bubbles, no troubles, as I like to say. Um, everything went very, very nicely, nice and smooth. And that's exactly what I like, just a nice, smooth uh, experience without cuts, weepers, creepers, irritation, all that kind of stuff. Of course, that's what I assume everybody wants. All right. And there we go. Lathering up for our second pass. And again, first pass, quite nice. No problems whatsoever with this. Uh, I suppose it's made in China. I didn't really look, yeah, it's made in China. It says so on the back. Um, but of course that doesn't mean it's poor quality. Uh, we use a lot of things that are made in China. Of course, I love American-made things and things made in Europe and Germany and so on. But I'm not opposed to using things that come, you know, from other places. They make uh, good products at decent prices, and I've used many, many of these sort of products over the years. And generally, I come away going, hey, it's not bad. Not bad at all. And so far, it's the case today with this razor um like the butterfly doors aren't coming open on me or anything like that which is a sometimes a concern with butterfly razors whether they'll stay in place or whether they don't close properly and things like that and we're not having any problems with this razor on that front and it feels nice and smooth which is really my number one requirement for a shave product of any type obviously especially blades and razors you really have to have a nice, smooth um, performance. Otherwise, you know, if it's rough, it, it's not fun, and it doesn't feel great. And so nobody wants that, unless you just like punishment. <laughs> and I certainly don't, so I prefer a nice, smooth shave. By the way, the V-John cream here, just got a regular old lime sand. It's nothing special, but it does a great job and it's not super expensive. And so, really does a nice job. Many, many shaving products out there that don't cost us uh, a lot that you can get a really nice shave from. So don't be put off if you're in a country where American-made artisan products aren't available to you. Um, there's plenty of great stuff like this that works just fine and does a great job and that I use myself and it's part of my kit. And so, and trust me, I have gotten rid of more socks than most people have owned. And I don't say that in a bragging manner. It's rather stupid if you just want me to be honest with you. Um, having bought as many soaps as I've purchased, I really like the American artists and stuff. Don't get me wrong. And you know, the people like Shannon Soaps and and uh, Pete Charcalis' stuff and Chris Cullen from Katie's Bubbles. And, you know, I'm obviously going to forget people. Uh, Cold River Soap Works. The list goes on and on and on. I love those products. But you can get a great shave with non-artisan uh, non products, let's just say. You can get a great shave. So don't be put off. I know some places... Uh, the, the uh, artisan type stuff from America is hard to get. So fear not, you can still get an outstanding shave with, with whatever is available in your country or region. So have no fear. And the razor, back to the razor again, it's doing a good job. It's mild, uh, you're not gonna, you know, this is not even medium aggressive as far as I'm concerned on my personal scale. Like I said, it, it's akin in aggression to one of your vintage uh, Gillette twist to open type butterfly opening razors. Will do a good job for you, I'm sure. If you you know, now I can't say what the quality control is on these, if you know, but it does the job. 
And so if you like the looks at it, and it's it's got some heft to it. If you like a hefty razor, um, it's got some good heft to it. And that uh, middle sort of a adjustment place just makes sort of a com comfortable place to, to hold it, or at least put a finger on it from my perspective. So overall, um, I really don't have any complaints about this razor. Just work, just works, you know. And in a lot of areas of the world, people are just looking for things that work. They're not uber shave geeks who are looking for, you know, that 0 .005 performance, you know, edge versus something uh, that just works. And so this razor just works. This cream just works. And I mean that in a good way. And the brush obviously just works. I use it all the time. I like uh, affordable shave gear that does a good job and all the things I've used today hits the spot. Um, no problems whatsoever with this razor. Once again, there's the name if you're interested. Available on Amazon, less than 20 bucks uh, to your door if you're an Amazon Prime member. Door opens, you know, nicely, no problems with it. Is it gonna be the best razor of your life? Probably not, but will it be one to serve you well if you get uh, a good one? I would assume so. I mean, you never can say, you, you can never predict the longevity of a razor, but uh, provided a good shave for me today. So take that under advisement. I want to thank everybody once again uh, for joining us. Until next time, I've been your host CDB. You are not. God bless.